Do you ever feel like you are always one step behind in understanding how women think? Ever wonder if there is a way to control her mind? Imagine having the power to decode and influence a woman's thoughts to your advantage. It is not just a pipe dream. Today, you are about to uncover the most guarded secrets of dark psychological tricks that can give you an unbelievable edge in understanding female psychology. By the end of this video, you will learn the top dark psychological tricks to control any woman's mind so that you are never left in the dark again. Number 10, make lingering presence. Do you ever wonder how to make a woman feel like you are always around, even when you are not? Sounds a bit off track, but stick with me here. I am not talking about being clingy, but about crafting a psychological imprint of your presence so deep that she can't help but feel attached. This dark psychological tactic is about creating a pervasive sense of your presence. You gotta condition her environment to remind her of you relentlessly. Leave small tokens behind. Use specific scents she will associate with you. Share songs that stick in the mind, all subtly tying back to you. The goal here is that she starts to feel your absence as a palpable void that she is desperate to fill. This will make her work twice as hard for your attention and that my man is not just control, but psychological dominance. Number nine, give her space. Ever heard that old saying, seduce my mind and you can have my body? Many guys get this wrong as they think it means to overwhelm her with gifts and nonstop texts. Wrong move, gentlemen. Women fall deeper through the shadows of their imagination than the glare of plain attention. To truly seduce her mind, you need to master the art of absence. Less is exponentially more. Pull back, make her miss you. Dive into your hobbies, take trips, and hang out with your friends. Create a life so interesting that she wants in. When you give her space, you create a psychological tension, a gap that only you can fill. She starts to crave you, not because you are always there, but because she can't stand you being away. That, my friend, is how you secure the upper hand. Number eight, try emotional manipulation. This is something even more direct, using her emotions as your chessboard. Ever heard of fractionation? It is a stealthy technique rooted in psychological principles that dominate her emotional world. Women let emotions steer their decisions, so if you can master this game, you are golden. Here is how it works. You swing her between emotional highs and lows. One moment, you are the charming prince, the next you are distant and elusive. This roller coaster puts her emotional investment on overdrive and makes her feel an intense connection and fear of loss simultaneously. It is like setting a hook deep in her mind, and once you are there, you can steer her emotions like driving a car. She becomes so wrapped up in your world that stepping out of it feels like breaking free from gravity. Number seven, use reverse psychology. Why do women go wild for those limited edition designer handbags? Simple, they are elusive. If you want to skyrocket your appeal, tap into that element of scarcity. Play hard to get. Start by disqualifying and rejecting women more than they expect. Make them feel like you are the prize they can't have. Just like those designer bags, if you become something rare, something hard to obtain, you will see a dramatic shift. Women will start chasing and competing for your attention. The next time you are in a social setting, casually mention how selective you are with dates or joke about how your next girlfriend needs to meet nearly impossible standards. Watch as they try to qualify themselves to you. When you position yourself as a limited edition, you increase your perceived value and control the dynamics of the chase. This way, they are attracted, intrigued, and invested in a way that keeps you firmly in control. Number six, get rid of her ego. In a world where everyone craves attention, being the one who doesn't give it out freely is a power move. Most women are used to being noticed, so take a different tack. Reduce their ego by not giving them the attention they expect. Focus on their friends more than on them or act oblivious to their presence in group settings. And no, don't be aloof because it is about strategic neglect. Imagine you are at a party. Spend more time laughing with her friends, barely acknowledging her. Maybe throw a casual compliment towards someone else. It is like a subtle challenge to her self-esteem, and trust me, it will ignite her desire to win your attention. She will start seeking validation from you by working harder to catch your eye. This tactic makes her jealous, and she sees you as someone whose approval is worth pursuing. This puts you in control of how hard she tries to get on your radar. Number five, embrace confusion tactics. 
Confusion is a powerful tool if you know how to use it. This tactic doesn't require control, but subtly messes with her perception, which leads to a deep-seated obsession. When you send her mixed signals, warm one moment, distant the next, you disrupt her psychological equilibrium. For instance, during a conversation, be genuinely engaging, then switch to being slightly disinterested. Compliment her in a way that leaves her wondering about your intentions. This inconsistency throws her off balance. As she tries to figure you out, you occupy more and more of her thoughts. The more she thinks about you, trying to decode your behavior, the more entangled she becomes. This subtle form of manipulation plants you in her psyche. Number four, create desire. Listen up, guys. The major sin in any relationship is letting her think she has got you figured out, wrapped around her finger. The truth is that desire thrives on uncertainty. Make her worry a little about losing you. Show her that she is not the only one in the game, that others are eyeing the prize too. Flirt a little. Don't shy away from showing that you have options. Being too available is like giving her the remote control to your value. Never let that happen. Play the partners in crime angle. Take this scenario. She goes out with a guy who showers her with luxe dates, another who brings nothing but fun and unpredictability. Pizza, roller coasters, a cab ride home. Who sticks in her mind? The adventurous one every time. Why? Because he makes her part of the story, not just a passive observer. When she invests emotionally and physically, she values those experiences more. Make your time together a series of adventures and she will be hooked, always coming back for more. Number three, intense eye contact. Get this right and you can stir something deep inside her without uttering a single word. It is about quality, not quantity. Don't be the creep who stares too long. Be the guy who gazes into her soul sparingly, yet deeply. It is a fine line between intriguing and invasive. Lock eyes with her, hold for just a moment longer than usual, then smoothly look away. Repeat this dance with timing and grace. This technique builds a mystery around you and leaves her wondering, what is he thinking? It pulls her in and makes her want to break down your walls. Practice this and watch as her admiration shifts into obsession. Remember, your eyes can speak volumes, so make sure they are telling the right story. Number two, the subtle error trap. Think slipping a minor error into your chat isn't a big deal? Think again. This is about laying a calculated trap, a subtle but effective game in the shadowy corners of psychological warfare. You toss out a detail that is off, just slightly. Now this isn't a mistake, but a strategy. When you introduce a fact that is not quite right, watch how quickly she corrects you. That is your in. She is now more engaged, more talkative, spilling details she hadn't planned to reveal. You have just manipulated her into revealing a card she didn't even know she was holding. You are exploiting her natural urge to correct, to be right, turning it against her. It is a chess move that messes with her perception of reality and makes her question what is true and what is your fabrication. It is a power play, gentlemen. Use it wisely. Number one, play the name game. Have you ever noticed how you snap to attention when someone mentions your name? It is like the world around you blurs and you are the star of the show for that moment. That is the sheer power of a name. This is a simple but formidable tactic from the Dark Psychology Playbook. Use her name. Not occasionally, but with precision, calculated to hit hard. When you inject her name into your conversation, it is like a direct shot to her psyche, a signal that cuts through the noise and commands her undivided attention. Using her name makes her feel seen and important, like she truly matters to you. But there is a twist. When you use her name strategically, peppering it into dialogue like a master chef seasoning a dish, you are tapping into a deep-seated part of her psyche. You are appealing directly to her ego. It is like saying, you know, Emily, I really think you would excel at this. Suddenly, she is all ears, feeling special and acknowledged. Conclusion. These dark psychological tricks significantly impact your interactions with women by giving you subtle control and influence. However, it is important to consider the ethical side of using such tactics. They are powerful and effective, but should be used responsibly. If you have made it this far, comment below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.